the universal greeting. Hi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the Start Here with Jefferson YouTube channel. About Start Here with Jefferson. Hi, my name is Jefferson. You're on a journey because life is a journey, not a destination. It doesn't matter where you're going, it's whom you have beside you. You are ready for the journey, but you need a trustworthy guide for this journey. You need a mentor to show you the way. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can achieve more. Let's go on the journey together. Start here with Jefferson. My purpose is to guide and lead you so you can attract and magnetize key people, key moments, key opportunities, key blessings, key resources, and key ideas that will propel you to your place of destiny. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolute no limits, what would you choose to have and what would you choose to do? Start here. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. The hardest part of any journey is taking the first step. The unexamined life is not worth living. What do you want out of life? What are the things you are most passionate about? What are your greatest accomplishments in life? If your life had absolutely no limits, what will you choose to have and what will you choose to do? What are your goals in life? Whom do you admire most in the world and why do you admire them? What is your purpose in life? Where are you coming from and where are you going to? Change is necessary for continued growth. Where there is no change, there is no life. Your growth is the key to the life you desire. Your growth is the only guarantee that tomorrow will get better. My desire is to help you develop the right mental attitude to discover your true strength so you can tap into your passion to grow and become successful in your endeavors. Welcome to Start Here with Quotes from Jefferson. Jefferson Owenby, a digital alchemist, has an unwavering passion for the web and an insatiable thirst for learning new skills. As a result, he has opened up tremendous opportunities in his career, allowing him to create, develop, and collaborate on projects with renowned brands while honing a diverse range of abilities. From conception to realization, from brief to design concepts, and from implementation to commercial strategy, online marketing, automation, and even photo, audio, and video production, Jefferson has grown in expertise across various domains. Welcome to Start Here with Jefferson, where you'll find a distinctive resource for daily motivation and inspiration. Our playlist showcases a diverse collection of quotes extracted from the books and works of Jefferson Owen B. This compilation offers a broad perspective that can empower you to navigate life's challenges and pursue your goals with renewed enthusiasm. What sets this playlist apart is our commitment to delving deeper into these quotes beyond mere recitation. Each quote is dissected into different sections, including the judgment, the key, the application of the quote, the image, the potential reversal, and the conclusion. This structured approach aims to provide you with profound insights and practical advice for applying the lessons to your everyday life. Our meticulous and thoughtful curation of the playlist reflects our dedication to delivering high-quality content. 
By organizing the playlist in this manner, we strive to make it easier for you to follow along and grasp the messages being conveyed. We greatly value the trust we have built with our audience and aim to continue providing valuable resources. Your feedback is invaluable to us as we constantly endeavor to enhance our content delivery. We appreciate your active participation in shaping the future of Start Here with Jefferson. Thank you for embarking on this inspiring journey with us. Should you have any questions or requests, please don't hesitate to reach out. Welcome once again to Start Here with Jefferson. The Introduction Start Here with Jefferson presents you with quotes from Jefferson. Quote, number 91. Today, I will analyze a quote that focuses on responding to betrayal with forgiveness and prayer, drawing parallels to the actions of Jesus when faced with betrayal. The quote highlights the importance of praying for those who have wronged you and recognizing that fear can drive people to act artfully. In this analysis, we will exploit the potential limitations of the quote, identify its key terms, discuss practical applications for everyday life, examine the metaphorical meanings within the quote, consider potential reversals and conclude with the key insights for reflection. The Inspirational Quotes by Jefferson O. N. B. Quote, When someone you love and care for throws you under the bus by giving false witness against you to please someone in authority, please, like Jesus, pray for them to be delivered from the grip of the wicked. They are so afraid that they lose their senses. We seldom overreact without seeing the big picture. They are afraid. You can do nothing when the fear has consumed them. Jesus knew Peter would deny him, so he forgave and prayed for him in advance. Peter threw Jesus under the bus. Unquote. The source of today's quote. The quote is from My Daily Devotion, the show word for today. Please subscribe to the show word for today at www theshoreword.org.uk. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Sure Word for Today. The Judgment The quote emphasizes forgiveness and prayer in the face of betrayal, suggesting that responding with love and understanding can help free the betrayal from wickedness and fear. While forgiveness is often seen as a noble virtue, critics may argue that it may not always be appropriate or possible in all circumstances, particularly in severe harm or repeated betrayal. Additionally, some may question the assumption that fear is the sole motivator behind betraying someone. The key. The key message of the quote lies in responding to betrayal with forgiveness and prayer. It emphasizes the power of empathy and understanding, even when someone you love turns against you. By praying for the betrayal and seeking their deliverance from fear and wickedness, you can embody the compassionate and forgiving spirit of Jesus. The quote encourages looking beyond immediate reactions and seeing the bigger picture recognizing the influence of fear on others' actions. The Application To apply the insights from this quote in everyday life, consider the following. Embrace forgiveness. When faced with betrayal, strive to Cultivate forgiveness within yourself. Understand that people may act out of fear or other complex emotions, and holding onto resentment only weighs you down. Forgiveness frees you from anger and allows you to move forward with compassion.
pray for those who hurt you. In line with the quote's message, offer prayers for those who have wronged you. Pray for their well-being, understanding, and release from negative influences. Praying for their transformation can help you cultivate empathy and contribute to their potential for change. Seek the bigger picture. Try to step back and consider the broader context in moments of betrayal. Understand that fear can cloud judgment and cause people to act in ways they might not otherwise. This broader perspective can foster empathy and promote a more forgiving response. Learn from Jesus' example. Reflect on Jesus' response to betrayal and his ability to forgive and pray for those who wronged him. Consider how you can embody these qualities in your own life and relationships. By following Jesus' example, you can foster healing and growth. The Image Metaphorically, the code portrays betrayal as being thrown under the bus, an act of disloyalty and tertiary by someone you love. The language highlights the emotional pain and shock associated with such an act. The image of praying for deliverance from wickedness and the grip of fear underscores the transformative power of forgiveness and prayer. The Potential Reversal In specific contexts, the code's message may face challenges or reversals. Cultural or social norms may emphasize retribution or sabotage when faced with betrayal, challenging forgiveness and prayer to navigate. Additionally, a person may have different perspective on the role of forgiveness and the extent to which one should pray for those who have wronged them. Exploring this alternative viewpoint adds depth to the understanding of forgiveness and prayer. The Conclusion In conclusion, the quote encourages responding to betrayal with forgiveness and prayer, mirroring the actions of Jesus. By offering forgiveness and praying for those who have wronged you, you can embody love and compassion in the face of hurt. While the code may have limitations, its key themes guide everyday life. Through forgiveness, prayer, and understanding the influence of fear, you can navigate betrayal with grace and contribute to personal growth and the possibility of transformation for others. A message from Jefferson. As we reach the end of this video, I want to express my sincere appreciation to all of you for being a part of this wonderful community. Thank you for watching, engaging, and being active participants in the discussions. I would like to take a moment to address our comment section. We value your thoughts, opinions, and feedback, and we encourage you to share them in the comments below. However, Please know that we moderate our comments to ensure a respectful and inclusive environment for everyone. By moderating the comments, we aim to foster meaningful discussions, promote positive interactions, and prevent any form of harassment, discrimination, or offensive language. Our goal is to create a space where everyone feels comfortable expressing their ideas and engaging with others. We believe in the power of constructive dialogue and the opportunity for diverse perspectives to enrich our understanding. So, while we may remove comments that violate our guidelines, we strive to maintain an open and welcoming atmosphere for all.
I want to thank you for your understanding and cooperation in helping us create a safe and respectful community. Your participation is instrumental in making this channel an inspiring and inclusive space for everyone. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay connected, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. By doing so, you will be notified whenever we release new content, ensuring that you never miss out on valuable insights and discussions. Once again, thank you for your support and engagement and for being a part of this incredible journey. Together, let's continue to learn, grow and uplift one another. With heartfelt gratitude, Jefferson. <music>